I believe God heals. I believe God answers prayers. I believe God. Hi everyone, welcome, welcome. Come on in, have a seat. I miss you guys. I've taken a few days break just to rest a little bit and to do a few things. And now I am back on track, thank God. So I am asking you guys to have a seat so that we can talk about these interesting messages that I'm getting for you guys. Okay, so the message today is interesting in the way that it is a very positive message. Um, and it's a message of love and hope. Um, and I am grateful to have received this message from Spirit for you guys. So the first thing that they're saying to me is that You're going towards a peri period now of elevation and expansion, okay? There is communication that is coming towards you, that is bringing you a huge victory. Um, and it's, it's with regards to many areas of your life, okay? And if you're listening to this reading, it means that you are someone who is very positive and your energy is very positive and you're very loved by God and by the Spirit um, and they want to encourage you by saying that your time to shine, your time to rise has come, okay? They are saying that it's a very blessed time for all signs, but especially those who fall under the sign of Aquarius and under the sign of Pisces. The reason is because um, Saturn has left Aquarius after a very long time uh, being in the sign of Aquarius for 20 years okay the planet Saturn and when that happens um, if you if you have Aquarius anywhere in your chart but especially if you're Aquarius Sun or Moon you're gonna breathe again okay is what I'm hearing I'm hearing you you breathe again okay so you might have felt this already in your life like you're breathing again well um, for some reason i'm being guided to tell you that this is gonna last for a very long time and this is the beginning of a huge period of success in your life especially if your karmic balance is positive okay if your karma is positive you've been doing good things okay it's now time for you to reap your rewards whatever things that you have done that are good for people um, for yourself and for people, um, you'll be rewarded for them, okay? You're being rewarded. This is a time for rewards, okay? So, like I'm getting the feeling that all of the heavenly hosts, all of, like, God, the angels, um, every good spirit, all positive energies, the fairy realm, the extraterrestrials, uh, the, um, the uh, all kinds of beings, they are focusing very much on elevating the collective and especially the chosen ones and if you're listening to this video i believe that you are a chosen one and i believe that you are trusted for the gift with the gifts that are going to be given to you now uh, okay what i'm hearing this there's a strong message about communication for all of you i'm not sure where Mercury is in the sky now or whether this has to do with any other planetary placement But I feel that communications are going to be very important for you guys at the moment in terms of emails uh, phone of texts and so on Okay, however you receive your communication it something good is coming something that's going to make you very happy Okay, something positive and for some of you you've already been feeling this energy Okay You've been feeling this energy um, already, uh, like coming towards you, okay? And I, th I feel for some of you, you kind of had enough of waiting. The, uh, the message that I'm getting is the wait of all is over now, okay? And especially if you are an Aquarius, if you have Aquarius anywhere in your chart, because this Saturn was in Aquarius for the past 20 years, and this has meant that all the Aquarius collective was learning big lessons wherever you have aquarius in that in your chart everyone has aquarius so where see that where that is there would have been negativity there 
that is now going to be to change into absolute and abstract positivity okay extreme positivity okay now i am feeling as well that you're you're all feeling more organized so there's a message here as well about you being organized okay and this planet is going to move into the second house uh of the of the sign of aquarius which means that it's going to bring a lot of organization into your life so you're gonna the whole the whole collective is going to feel that because this is the age of aquarius the whole collective is going to feel like they want to get their stuff together they want to organize themselves they want to do things that they've been holding up for a long time they're being motivated and pushed to do things especially if they've been um uh, I wouldn't say being lazy, but the timing wasn't right in the past, and now the timing is here because of how the planets are placed in the sky. Okay, so you're going to start to see movement on all fronts, okay, and it's an organization. You'll feel it. I'm feeling it, and I'm sure many of you are, and you're going to feel like you want to even um, look at what you eat, what you drink, what you... Um, uh, you like your that your routine and everything it's going to automatically start falling into place being more organized in everything okay and i am i am very sensitive to the energy of the planets and i have been under a very heavy weight for many years when when saturn was in uh in in aquarius okay um and i was like feeling things even in my body that I didn't understand and now when the planet left I kid you not I felt so light and I've even worried I thought is this gonna be temporary am I gonna start feeling a bit heavy again um is, is that spirit is that something spiritual um what's going on but then my guys I asked my guys and I said to them, what happened what happened to my legs what happened <laughs> <laughs> you know i'm feeling a lot lighter so they said this is because saturn has left your sign so they're saying brace yourself because you're getting the the biggest financial breakthrough that you've had in your life probably if especially if you're an aquarius or if it falls in in any of your houses that have to do with earning a money like your venus placement if it's an aquarius one if you're moon this will, will affect these signs the most so you're getting a lot of wealth and the reason for Saturn being in the second house is that they're saying that the reason is to help you manage that wealth properly or the money that you're going to get because you're going to be getting a lot of financial breakthroughs now and a lot of money is going to be given to you. If Saturn had, all, had been in your sign in the past, okay, in the first house, in the, like in the past, it would have led to you not knowing exactly what to do with the money. It would have maybe... Um, made you like you know spend it on unnecessary things or put it in projects that were not fruitful and things like that but now that it's in the second house it's going to help you plan and place that that finances the breakthrough and finances in where they need to be this the effect of saturn will also happen with regards to your personal uh like relations and business relations and love you're gonna find that these are being organized arranged you're gonna feel your energy is renew renewed and you want to do, do things in a new and better way it's an improved way that i'm seeing okay so i am here to congratulate you all you're all going to be feeling this whoever's listening to this reading is going to be feeling these changes and they're amazing changes okay now the the negative part of the of this is that there's not 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 negative i would say but the other side of it is that saturn is now in the sign of pisces and that will mean as a collective we are all going to be answering for our deeds so if anyone has done anything good in the past and you've done a lot of good things i know you you've, you've all done amazing things i can feel your energy you've been working so hard and you've been so pure and you've been so diligent and now the angels are blessing you because this is a time now that you're going being saturn in pisces means that basically with its placement now in the sign of pisces means that you're getting rewarded for whatever you've done so you've been working hard you're going to start getting rewards financial rewards emotional rewards if you've been like for example in relationships and love being upright being genuine being like someone who 
Uh, say, for example, you say you wait, you're waiting for the right thing and it hasn't happened yet. This is now the time that it's going to happen, especially if you've been in an upright energy, okay? Or whatever that means for you, okay? It's all about how you feel. We don't pass any judgment on anyone here when it comes to that. But um, personally, for me, for example, I've been like, for example, I would, uh, I've always been like very... Uh, straightforward when it comes to this I've been celibate I'm not really I don't sleep with anyone anything like that until God reveals whoever I'm going to be with um, then that is going to be something that is reserved for that person okay but I think that I have actively and the spirits have reminded me of this they said you've actively worked on yourself you've not allowed yourself even though you've had many times when there were very powerful temptations you never once have 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 went there so they are saying that god is appreciative of this energy within you and that's within me that's me personally how i am okay but i i know i don't know it means different things for different people okay so some people might feel that for example celibacy doesn't work for them it it has a lot to do with their physical makeup with who they are and what they've been through and so on so that it's not right to judge people but I'm just, my experience, that's my experience as far as I'm concerned. So they are saying that whatever you've been doing with regards to your romantic life and love life, now, you, now God is going to be rewarding you or um, like you're getting back the energy that you've been putting out. So all of these people who've been players and have been negative and been trying to cheat on people or talk to people behind people's backs or... Um, it m mislead people or like you know hurt people's feelings this now is the time that they're going to be getting their karmic reward for that <laughs> okay and it's going to be believe me I feel the energy of heaven and I feel what's going on there and I feel the energy of God and I feel that he is literally about it's like when someone something wants to explode okay so um, my advice to everyone is to all try and be in a positive energy okay because he's upset with i know i know a few people myself who i know for example who have done wrong things um and if you've listened to my last video about what happened to that lady when she tried to do that thing um that black magic thing and uh, that is what she deserved okay and that is her karmic reward for what she had done okay that's in the most recent video okay but what I'm trying to say here is that you've done, if you've done good, expect big breakthroughs and amazing things. Uh, if, someone, if you know someone who's done something negative then, then they, they, then to you, then expect at uh, this time now for the scales to be balanced, okay? And it's going to be balanced in a big way, okay? In a big way, bigger than anyone can fathom or, fathom or imagine. There are message, there is a message here that if you're listening to this reading, you are protected. And I'm seeing the energy of Archangel Michael. I have a strong, powerful connection with him. You are all protected, okay? And, that, and there's a lot of divine intervention and mercy coming from God towards you. The, the, the time when you have felt lack has gone. And the time when you have felt that nothing was, was working in your favor has gone. Anyone who has been feeling wronged, that time has gone. It is time for you now to live the life that you deserve, to get what you, what you want, what you, what you should have had for a long time, okay? And it's only Saturn contributed to that, but there was something in it as well for us to appreciate what we are going to receive now. And Saturn in our second house means that if we receive finances, if we receive love, if we receive anything like that, we won't squander it, we won't play with it like we did in the past. If, you, if, if anyone has, I mean, not played with it, um, I wouldn't say I played with it, but I would say like, it would, you will know, you will be much wiser now as to what to do, okay? And there is a soulmate connection coming in for those of you who are single, those of you who are not there, you are getting a strengthening and very passion, passionate energy coming into your love relationships. If you are listening to the re this reading, I feel the energy of love from you and the energy of healing, and I know that you're going to be amazing. They're saying, lift your head up and smile because you mean a lot more to the divine than you think. Okay, and everything that you've done, all of the good that you've done has been watched and seen by, the, by energies and by people and things and creations that you don't know of that are higher than you and by God himself. So now you're going to be rewarded, okay? This full moon in Virgo, this last full moon was the last full moon that you're going to ever suffer again. 
this deliverance that you're going to be getting now, whatever's going to happen in your life now, is going to be everlasting. Okay? They're saying open your hands to receive. Let go of the outcome. Don't, don't get too anxious because it's coming. It's coming today. Okay? So what I'm hearing is they're saying it's coming today. Okay? Whether it's good, whether it's bad, it's coming today. Okay, and you're gonna start seeing it. And I've already started seeing it. Um, and, you know, you know, I get a lot of vision news and stuff. So I've already started seeing it with people and it's just sometimes so sad, but they didn't listen when they had the chance to listen. Okay, so it's really sad, um, but it's not any of our business. Let's just focus on the positive things and know that you are, if you are listening to this reading, you have taken the prize and the cup and the winner's cup. Okay, and you and the and these days, these coming days will prove it to you. I'm gonna leave it here, you guys. I love you guys so much. Um, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, you guys, um, and comment. And I will see you guys in your next reading. God bless you all. Thank you so much.